Hello and uh, welcome to my long overdue um, hackathon uh, video. Uh, today I'm just going to show you uh, the uh, project that I created during the global hackathon uh, last month. And as you can see, um, it involves Minecraft. Uh, for those of you that uh, aren't aware what Minecraft is, um, it's a uh, Java based game that uh, allows you to interact with a virtual world of blocks. As you can see, I'm just destroying some blocks here and I can place some blocks as well. So it's very much like a virtual Lego. Um, there's lots more to the game, but uh, for the time being, um, I'm not going to kind of go through the intricacies of Minecraft. Instead, we're going to have a look at um, what we can do when we integrate uh, Minecraft with uh, Alfresco. So the idea is essentially, um, Minecraft is uh, is a Java-based uh, implemented uh, program, and uh, so why don't we integrate that with Alfresco? So you can see here, uh, I've got a normal site. Uh, I'm just going to go through and I'm just creating a new folder, just so um, you can see uh, that uh, my Minecraft really is attached to my uh, to my site. So this site's just got four. It's going to have four folders in it, each for different people. Um, and the idea is that we're going to use the Seamist API um, to basically uh, connect uh, Alfresco all the way back. Uh, sorry, connect to Minecraft all the way back to my uh, Alfresco. Um, repository and then try and do something interesting with that information. Um, so the, the way that uh, I integrate with uh, Minecraft is by using the command system. You can see I've just brought up a, a list of the standard commands available in Minecraft. Um, now I can, uh, using the uh, bucket plugin stuff, um, which is a standard library, I can actually go through and create, as you can see here, uh, a number of, of my own commands and those are all written in um, in Java. So you can see um, what I'm going to do now is if I just bring up my server in the background, I'm just going to prove that um, I'm actually able to connect through via CMIS to my server. So here's my CMIS test command. If I run that, you can see uh, just in the background there um, that uh, I've, I've outputted a little command that just says um, that I've connected to the, to the that the root folder is the uh, company home. Okay, so there we go. We've proven that. Um, now uh, another command that I've built to kind of help me out here is called a macro command. Um, now because what I'm essentially going to be doing is building up structures that represent the files and folders and that can be actually very sort of time consuming if you do that manually in Java code. So I've built this macro command. Um, as you can see I'm just starting a macro which I'm going to call demo and what it allows me to do is record my actions. So I'm just going to place a few box here, a couple of uh, red, a couple of yellow. Uh, just a basic structure. Now, if you can imagine, what I'm going to do behind the scenes is actually build up my uh, the parts of my um, my site, if you like, um, and then I'll be able to piece those together to build big structures easily, which will represent the data. So there you go. I've stopped the macro, and now I'm going to run it uh, manually. Um, and there you go. You can um, actually just see that it will completely rebuild. Um, there is a uh, a mode that will do kind of repeated. Um, uh, repeated uh, uh, macro executions. Um, I've actually just typed that in wrong. I won't dwell on that. But um, essentially, it's a it's a little toolkit that will, it's going to help me um, piece together, if you like, the elements that I'm going to need when um, I start to build out um, representations of the data in Alfresco, which is the purpose of this. So let's have a quick look at um, uh, what I'm able to do so far. I've got a build command um, and I can specify what I want to build which is a site and I'm actually going to give it the name uh, test which uh, links through to that site in the background and there you go boom it's actually built me uh, a whole structure which is partially representing um, the information that's in my site so now I'm able to kind of wander around um, if I get up on the ledger um, and actually have a look around um, you'll see that the sign there is Bob's folder so this room represents Bob's folder and I can wander in and have a look around. As you can see there's not much here uh, at the moment um, and this is still work in progress um, and you'll see hopefully by the time we get to the summit um, there'll be a whole load more hit in here and I'll be able to demonstrate it uh, in my lightning talk. We go up there you can see all the all the folders are named differently um, and um, I've got four stories because I've got four folders. Um, so so that's my uh, demo to date. Uh, hopefully that's of interest to you. All this code's up on GitHub and I'll uh, publish the information and I look forward to seeing you at Summit 2014.